we'd like to sketch a graph of this function and also from the graph determine the domain and range. Now remember this is, because of the absolute value, this is the shape. Because of this x plus 2, it moves that graph two units to the left and one unit down. Two units to the left and one unit down. So the vertex of the V is at negative 2, negative 1. The opposite of this and then whatever this is. So negative 2, negative 1. Remember this negative in front means the V faces or opens downward. And then I'd like you to go ahead and plot a few more points, although I'm simply going to sketch this in. And there we have it. This is simply a sketch of the graph of that absolute value function. Now, let's find the domain and the range. And let's begin with domain. Remember, domain has to do with x values, how far left, how far right. Notice, because of these arrows, how far left it will be negative infinity, and how far right, infinity. And now let's talk about range. Range has to do with y values, how far down and how far up. And again, we are talking about y values. How far down, well, that'll go to negative infinity because of these arrows. And how far up, y value-wise, all the way to the highest y value will be negative 1. And there's my range.